If summer is a bit of a challenge for you because you're a little worried about wearing summer clothes, fear not. In this video, I'm sharing what not to wear and giving you some great alternatives so that you'll look and feel much more confident. So stay tuned to find out more. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, the channel for ladies over 50 who want to look and feel fabulous and a special warm welcome if you're new here. I'm really excited about this video ladies. I'll be giving you some style tips on something that's pretty close to most of our hearts. How to have the effect of looking a little bit slimmer in summer clothes. Now I'm all about being happy and confident in who and what you are and I'm all for wearing exactly what you want ladies. So these are just ideas if you want to use them. Certainly not repeat not, saying that everyone needs to be thinner. Absolutely not. So these are just tips for you to consider if you want to feel more comfortable in summer clothes, if you wish to use them. And of course, these tips work better for some body shapes and types than others. So I'm sharing five key tips and lots of lovely little items that you're gonna love. And just before we jump in, if you really want to jumpstart your quest to look and feel fabulous after 50, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it really helps it to keep it going. I share weekly inspiration and fresh ideas to show you exactly how to look and feel fabulous and it's free. So ladies, if you're anything like me, we're in the menopause, our bodies are behaving really weirdly. We've developed lumps and bumps on our bodies that won't shift, but we still want to look our best in the summer. Am I right? We're all rooting for each other on this channel, so I hope this video will help you cope a little bit better with the summer challenge. How to disguise our wobbly bits. And here is my first tip. Number one, don't try to hide your body and don't wear giant t-shirts. We are who we are, ladies, and the important thing is to feel confident in our bodies, but the answer is not to cover it all up. The thing that will make you look most conspicuous is to wear huge oversized clothes, especially on the beach, when everyone else is wearing lighter items. It's a truism that I'm sure you've heard. If you wear big covering clothes, you'll look bigger. And of course, it's the same with swimwear. If you wear a bathing suit that covers your bottom, it will make it look bigger than one that's cut higher and slimmer. And I'm afraid to say an oversized t-shirt doesn't fool anyone. Let's be honest, ladies, they are shapeless and they make you look shapeless and bigger than you are, whatever your size. And of course, they also cut you off right high at the neck and that's not a good look either. We don't want that, ladies. Okay, so what can we wear that will be much more flattering, still covered, but make us feel so much better? There are loads of really pretty little options that I'm gonna help you with. So let's start with tunics. Now, this picture I took in a shop um, a few days ago, um, you can see it's very pretty, the white broderie anglaise. It's still very much covered, but more shapely, more flattering. It's got a V-neck, which also adds to the vertical line on the body shape. And then I've also sourced for you this simple, fresh, light tunic from Chico's. It's gorgeous. It's covering, but slightly more form-fitted and very summery. And then there's this beautiful, cool linen one. It comes in loads of beautiful summery shades and it can be styled as you can see some options here it can be styled in lots of different ways as well really versatile Nordstrom has some fabulous options such as this one here this is a gauze one in the pale blue I think it is so pretty and so light and feminine um, and then there's also this fabulous yellow Vince Camuto one also from Nordstrom which I really adore it's gorgeous. There's actually a whole load of them in Nordstrom. I put the link here um, for you to look underneath the video. Um, when you finish watching this, sit with a cup of coffee and scroll. Now, if you were looking for something particularly for the beach, um, there's this one. Absolutely perfect. This is from Nordstrom. It comes in black, white or a crew, which is sort of an off-white. Now, if you preferred something else other than a tunic, another really good option is a sundress or a maxi dress. Now, there's this one here, absolutely stunning. I just love the vibrant colours in this. Um, and also this one here, which was actually in Zara that I looked at in the shop last week. I've sort of put a little ensemble there together for you. But both of these dresses hide the whole middle torso section. And these gorgeous prints take the, the eye away totally from the body shape. 
Another one is this one from Ted Baker. This is so beautiful. It's actually a jumpsuit, but it looks like a maxi dress, so, but it's totally stunning. I love this color combination. This one is very, very stylish from Karen Millen. This is a plus size one, but the vertical lines here are brilliant for drawing the eye down and the halter neck takes the eye into the center of the torso, which really slims it down. Or another option is to wear an off the shoulder piece, either a top or a dress. Um, now this one is particularly gorgeous and these are perfect for taking the attention away from the torso. It gives you plenty of, of space up by your neck and if you choose a pretty colour it will make you feel even more summery and sweet. So here it is, outfit one, actually wearing the same top that I'm wearing here for you now. Now, I love this colour. I think it's very flattering. I think it's beautiful from spring into summer. And you can choose any pretty shade. It'll make you feel lighter and more summery, one of your choice. Um, it, but it adds colour and it adds lift around the face. Now, this top is actually very old, but I found a beautiful similar one even nicer actually, um, from Monsoon. Really, really pretty and very summery. Or you could go for this fabulous River Island Plus leopard print. This is really glamorous and again will look fabulous with white jeans or with any kind of denim or something more dressy as well. Now I've teamed my off the shoulder top as you can see here with white jeans. These are my one of my favorites. Um, Karen Millen. These are slightly cropped but not so much on me because I'm five foot four. And my new favorite sandals from H&M really cheap i think they were 25 pounds internationally available now these are fabulous these are transparent mules as you can see now if you've been following me for some time you will have seen that one of my favorite pairs of shoes is a transparent pair of shoots shoes but they are slightly higher these in comparison way more wearable you pop them on very low heel do go and have a look at those. They're really, really super. Now, my second tip to help our wobbly bits is don't wear undergarments or clothes that are too tight. Really important tip to not look bigger is to wear clothes and undergarments that are not too tight, that just fit. Now, I know my last point was not to wear anything too big, but be careful of going to the opposite extreme and wearing things that are too tight. I know it's tempting. I have actually tried to squeeze myself into a size that's actually one size too small for me, just to say, yes, I've fitted into that size, but ladies, it's not a plan. Bras in particular are key. Have a look at this picture of me. Now, it's not too bad, but you can see that my bra is too tight and the fleshy bits are hanging over the sides and I really look like I've squidged and squeezed myself into it and it's not a good look. So to avoid this, please get yourself fitted for a bra like I have to. It can really reduce the look of your weight. You don't want back fat bulges. Similarly, be careful of a bra that's too tight on the shoulder as well and gives you a bit of a cut in mark. I'm actually going to give you a link below um, for you to read to see how you can tell if your bra is too tight and how to find your perfect size well worth looking at. So if you get well-fitting undergarments and garments in general, of course, it can take pounds off the look of your weight. My third tip is don't wear horizontal stripes on anything. Now, I love a good striped top, like a Breton top, something like that, as much as anyone else. But if looking bigger and looking wider is your concern, then do please be careful. So let me show you in action a couple of comparisons. Now, this blue and white striped dress, I love this dress, bought it in Spain, um, but it really does make me look wider. Doesn't matter what size I am, it just does. Um, it's also quite long, so the whole effect of width goes all the way down the body. And it doesn't matter what I'm like underneath, it just looks wider. Now also you can see it's got a boat shaped neckline, so it doesn't allow much space up at the neck. Um, not a V neck, which of course adds to the lack of lengthening effect. So I want to show you in comparison um, how vertical lines can help. Um, here I'm wearing, it's quite a long dress, but the effect is very different. Of course it's on the same body, but I look much slimmer here. So why? Let's break this down. The print is vertical, more or less. Um, the dress fits. 
Um, and there's plenty of neck space so I don't look suffocated. So it's all about an optical illusion. And I just want to show you another quick clip um, of where sometimes, I know I said that horizontal stripes is not a good idea, but sometimes you can blend them. Have a look at this. This was uh, when I was in Greece um, last year and I found this gorgeous dress. Now, as you can see, it's a blending of some horizontal stripes here, but most of the dress is vertical. So I think this is still very, very slimming. And also you can get away with wider stripes too, as long as they're vertical. My fourth tip is don't wear all black in summer. I adore black wear it a lot in the winter but I do wear it in the summer but I try and team it with white because black and white makes such a chic look. I've also created a whole video about this that you might like to go and catch as soon as you've watched this video. I'll put the link above and below for you to catch that. I've put some really beautiful ideas and some beautiful items on it but I know that all black is a temptation as a bit of a catch-all for making us look slimmer. Yes it does but in summer, it can actually look a little bit heavy and depressing. So what's the secret of incorporating black, if that's your favorite color, but looking better in the summer? Try mixing it with white, as I've mentioned, or with a pastel color of your choice. Now, the tan also works beautifully with it here, as you can see, and you can lift it also with the addition of something like a, a basket wicker bag to give a lighter feel, because um, bags can be very, very good accessories, and you'll look and feel more cheerful, you'll look and feel more summery, and let's face it, um, it's all about how we feel in our clothes that really ultimately matters. Or, just go all out and wear some colour. Look at this fabulous woman. I think she looks amazing, absolutely fabulous, so striking. She's using colour blocking, of course. Now, you could wear colour blocking or you could put the whole outfit in one colour uh, for the ultimate slimming look. I found you this fabulous item from Karen Millen. Two colours, but they kind of blend in together. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, my fifth tip is don't wear ankle-tied espadrilles or sandals. When you're thinking about trying to create a more slimming effect and disguising a couple of wobbly bits, think about your feet and your shoes as well. Shoes and sandals can make or break an outfit in terms of how flattering it is on you. Whilst I kind of like espadrilles, and they do sometimes have their place, I do struggle with the ankle-tied aspect of espadrilles. I've got to be honest, I'm too short for them. Unless you've got model thin legs, then a lot of people will end up looking cut off and foreshortened when they wear ankle tied shoes or espadrilles. So not only is there the danger of looking cut off, cutting the leg off, um, but also the ankle strap, as I said, makes it look more, more foreshortened, but they're also chunky too. Um, so the whole effect is quite heavy on the leg. They are easier to get away with in a nude shade, which is more elongated or if you're quite tall of course. Now this girl here she's quite young but I still think she looks cut off at the foot and this one looks like she's on stilts. So what to wear instead? Well there's a lot of lovely little options. You could either wear sandals that do up further down the leg right on the foot rather than on the ankle and jeweled or metallic thongs and flip-flops are a really good option. And some of my favorites are actually metallic thong sandals. I think they're really comfortable, they've got no heel, they're easy to walk in and they just look pretty. Now I found three particularly beautiful ones for you. These from Nordstrom. Now they're kind of like a flip-flop but they're a thong and they are they got a tiny little bit of height all along but very very comfortable and so gorgeous these ones as well from Tory Burch these are knotted sandals they're iconic almost I think these and you can get them from Nordstrom and these ones here Sam Edelman also from Nordstrom um, they're called the bay cutout slide sandal any of that kind of thing is so much more flattering than something that ties at the ankle now all the links to the items that I mentioned and the items that I show are in the video description underneath this video for you to browse or buy. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a really amazing day and I'll see you really soon. Lots of love ladies. Bye bye.